joy. Have you seen the paper this morning? Wake up. Wake up, people. You listen to 105.2 WSKS Radio. It's your favorite guy, Dizzy Dave, making your head spin this wet morning. How many of you thought we needed Noah's Ark last night? I know I did. <laughs> we almost got flooded out, but thankfully the good Lord saw fit to keep us afloat. Now, if you woke up feeling a bit under the weather, make sure you stop by and see my man Michael down at Michael's Pharmacy. Their huge sale will help you save money and fight that nasty cold. Michael's Pharmacy, located on the corner of Delaney and Chestnut. Congratulations to this year's Spelling Bee champion, Little Miss Myra Collins. A big shout out to the educator of Release. Thank you for teaching the next generation. For our local news, authorities are still investigating the break-in at Jazzy's Jewelers. Jazzy's Jewelers is located in the Hives. If you have any information, please contact RPD at 77HELP. That's 777-HELP, 777-H-E-L-P. Light of the World, non-denominational church, is still accepting donations for their harvest food and clothing drive. Please contact Pastor Avery Johnson and drop off your items. Don't forget to mark your calendar for the following events. November 9th, Behind Closed Doors Casting Call will be held at the Community Center from 10 a.m. to 1 p.m. November 17th, Thanksgiving in the Park, where local and county officials will join together in donating Thanksgiving gifts, boxes to residents of the Hollows. If you'd like to volunteer, come see me at the station and get your name on that list. November 30th, save the date. Save the date. Save, save the date. Day, day, day. Wayne Boutique is having its annual fall fashion show. Make sure you RSVP for a night of cocktails and beer. Now to really wake y'all up, let's go into the new track by Captain called Let's Rock. Here we go. Ahem. This is how you take constructive criticism? Staring at the pages of a magazine and still coming up short? Honey, my advice doesn't come free. It's pretty expensive around here, don't you think? And the price you pay will be a hefty one if you don't measure up. You may as well get back to work. Oh, but I still have 10 minutes. 10 minutes isn't going to change anything. You really think that was going to help? Staring at the pages of a magazine. <laughs> I'm trying. I thought I really got it down this time. Guess not. Joy, wow. Uh, you sure are colorful today. Just as radiant as ever. Thanks, Bobby. At least someone thinks so. Girl, I'm so glad that we got a chance to come and check this spot out. Yes, from what I understand, rain caters to the high end of fashion. And you know, living in the city, you have to be fashion forward. <laughs> hi, hi, ladies. Welcome to the boutique. How may I r rain fashion on you today? <sighs> um, sweetie, I'm sorry, but do you work here? Yeah, I do. And darling, does that ensemble you have on come from rain? Uh, no, not, not all of it. Girl, I sure wasn't expecting this. Do you see her? Look what she wearing. And she expect to help us? Oh, I don't think so. Hello, ladies. Welcome, welcome. Please have a look around. We have a treasure trove of items waiting for you to explore. Please excuse our intern. She hasn't quite settled in. Too busy focused on college credits. Let's just say she is still learning. Joy, you can take the rest of the day off. Ladies, follow me. Global attention to the 
continual abuses of police on us. Sunshine, <laughs> don't you look like a ball of colors? Yeah, just trying something different. Well, man, that show is different. How was work? Uh, I don't think it went too well. Well, why not? Why you think that? Oh, you know, work stuff. Anyway, gotta work on something for tomorrow. Okay, baby girl. I'll see you at dinner. This is so confusing. Oh. Maybe if I look like Captive, things will go my way. She's rich, stylish, and everyone loves her. She definitely has the world captive. Hmm. Let's see what new fashion tips she has to offer. Maybe that'll help. Hello, captives, and welcome to another captivating tutorial. Today, I will be discussing how to truly stand out. Now, as you know, I am no stranger to being in the spotlight. But it's not that easy, which is why I'm not afraid to take fashion risk. You have to give a lot just to get a little. And I'm sorry, but that's just the price you pay for beauty. So let's start with color. Black is everything. It exudes power, sophistication, and even a little bit of naughty, which is exactly what I will get into next. Well... I'm down to try just about anything. Y'all have mercy. I don't sing to talk. I'm near 90 years old. I ain't never seen nothing look quite like that. Oh, Jesus. I wear glasses. That's it. Blind to me. Y'all help her. Help her, Jesus. Help her. Yes, we just got the color in, and if you know your size, we can have it delivered to you, or would you rather come in the store? Okay, great. See you then. Hey, Mickey. What's up? Sure. What are you wearing? Captivating, huh? <laughs> well... Hey, you definitely stand out. Thank you, Bobby. You always notice my effort. 
I spent all night getting this look together and I think I nailed it. Joy, break room now. Uh, okay. Honey, what are you trying to do? What do you mean? Sylvia wanted me to step it up a notch and that's what I did. Captive gave me a full tutorial on how to be different and sexy. <laughs> sexy? My job is on the line. Sylvia said that if I didn't get it together, I'd be out of one. I don't know, Joy. This definitely takes the cake. I don't know if you're going to get the attention you're looking for. Mickey, you know what? I think you're just jealous that I put more effort into keeping my job than you do. Just because you aren't willing to take risks like I have doesn't mean you have to criticize me. I get enough of that already. I'm just tired of being unnoticed and unappreciated. Fine, do what you want, but this is not the way to go. I got sent home again. I just don't get it. I tried so hard, but still missed the mark. Why is this happening to me? Uh-oh, sweetie, what's wrong? Everything, look at me. I am looking at you. You don't understand. I'm about to lose my job, and I really can't afford to. I just can't take it anymore. I'm just ugly. Oh no, that kind of talk we won't entertain. Ain't got enough time to convince you otherwise, but I will leave you with this. You are beautiful and perfect in the eyes of the beholder. As long as you know who the beholder is, you were going to catch the bus. Good afternoon. Thank you for calling P139. This is Alicia speaking. How may I help you? Wh what am I doing? Help me, Jesus. They done hung up on me. Oh, my God. They're calling me back. H Hello? You know... In this day and age, we do have caller ID. You had to have called for a reason. My name's Alicia. What's yours? J Joy? Hi, Joy. Hi. Need help with something? Well, on the flyer, it says that you guys help with makeovers, and I was interested in getting one. Okay, Joy. Well, what we do, we don't do over the phone. What we can do is set up an appointment and have you stop by our office. Is that okay? Sure. Well, it just so happens that we have an opening this afternoon around 3.30. Oh, okay, that's fine. Should I bring anything? No, ma'am. Just yourself. Okay. Ferguson 1000 is a proud supporter of Dynasty Television. Kids play, kids interact, kids learn. We value those traits in kids. That's why we offer family-oriented card games, beautifully illustrated multiple series books, room decorating posters, all in an effort to help unleash the true potential of our children's learning and to further encourage their imagination. Brought to you by I See Me. Visit ICME.com. At the Witherspoon Law Group, we thank God for waking us up every day. But we don't just thank God for waking us up. We thank Him for giving us good health. We strap our boots on like everybody else, and we go to work to help people, to help people who've been injured, at the Witherspoon Law Group, the client comes first. We will fight for you. I will fight for you. I will put you first. I believe we will win. I believe that we will win. The Witherspoon Law Group, 
is a wrongful death law firm. We've helped families throughout the country during their most difficult time. And if you've lost someone as a result of another person or another company's negligence, contact the Witherspoon Law Group. We're here during your time of need. Somehow we got loose from what was oh so tight Somewhere we went wrong when we were oh so right Have you been injured in an auto accident? A drunk driver actually hit my car and so it caused my hip to be twerked and I sought out the office of Dr. Mark Holland to help me with that. I recommend Dr. Holland definitely to everybody. He's going to make sure everything is right and put you back together. Recently been involved in a car accident? You may qualify for a free $25 Visa gas card. Call Greater St. Louis Accident and Injury Centers today. 314-588-9100. Please. Hello, I'm Alicia. You must be Joy. Hi. Yes, I am. Nice to meet you. And see, we don't bite here. Come on in. So, you said you needed a makeover. Tell me a little bit about yourself and why you think you need one. Okay. Well, I go to work every day and I just can't seem to get it right. I don't look, talk, or dress right. Mm -hmm. My boss, Sylvia, says that if I don't get it together soon, she's going to fire me. And I really need this job to help out with my family. I have to fit in. Hmm. I can't afford to get fired. Interesting. Is there a certain image you're going for? Yeah. I know you said I didn't need to bring anything, but I brought this with me. So you can have an idea of who I'm trying to look like. Hmm. I see. Now you do know that this is a facade. This isn't real, right? Well, she looks real. Matter of fact, she's the hottest celebrity worldwide. And she's even from here. Release of all places. And do you really think trying to look like this will change your life? Yes, of course. What if I told you otherwise? Look, every day I look at myself in the mirror and hate what I see. I spend hours upon hours getting myself together, only to leave the house and get made fun of. They even put me on cast out. I'm the laughing stock of release. In today's society, all these beauty standards and ideals are thrown at me, telling me what's in and what's out. How can I love myself through that clutter? No matter what, I always come up short. My own mother didn't even stick around. Maybe she didn't want an ugly daughter. <sighs> come with me, Joy. This makeover is well overdue. Let me tell you a story about this very special manufacturer who is the source of all of our looks and products that we use. The manufacturer is special because he takes the time to really think and plan out every creation. By the time he sits down to sculpt his newest masterpiece, he would have already known everything about the masterpiece, its character, and personality and even giving it a name. In the case of this particular masterpiece, the manufacturer knew she would be a female because he wanted her to have the ability to reproduce the same greatness he was creating in her. 
He gave her beautiful locks of hair full of waves and curls that flow like the ocean. Every intricate detail of every strand of hair is accounted for. The manufacturer made a wise decision to give this particular masterpiece an eye color that transcends colors. Hazel is a combination of brown and green. Usually the characteristic of hazel eyes would signify that this masterpiece would never pass up a challenge and is open to trying new things. For this particular creation, the manufacturer gave her a mouthpiece. While some of his creations are good at just existing, he wanted this masterpiece to use her voice. So he made the gateway to her voice just right for what he wants her to say. After all, before the word is on her tongue, the manufacturer completely knows it. <laughs> Saturday, February the 6th at the Sun Theater, the David Peaston Foundation presents the Distinguished Gents 10th Anniversary Concert. The Distinguished Gents, Jeff Ratford, Jermaine Smith, Norman Owens, Willie Kilpatrick, Shadrach Robinson, Jan Strickland, and David Peaston. It's the Distinguished Gents 10th Anniversary Concert with special guests, Shirley, Shirley Mur Murdoch. I love me better than with her unique blend of jazz scatting and church runs, she has a sound that touches your soul. Shirley Murdoch! The Distinguished Gents 10th Anniversary Concert with Shirley Murdoch, Saturday, February the 6th at the Sun Theater. Tickets are available at the Transformation Bookstore or the Progressive Emporium and Education Center. For more information, call 629-7901. That's 629-7901. Hi, my name is Barry, Barry Wentworth. I always get voted class nerd every year. Invariably, inevitably, and undeniably, it's unfortunately true. We'll still vote for you for biggest class nerd. You got that in the bag. <laughs> <laughs> we don't need to be like them. We need to annihilate them. Well, we kind of sort of want to be like them. Yeah, if we were more like them, they probably wouldn't steal our food at pee today. Or trip us in the hallway. Or make us do their homework. Guys, snap out of it, snap out of it! We're nerds, we're smarter than them, we can beat them at their own game! All we gotta do is go in Mr. Johnson's office, you know, get the keys. There it is. Go get him, Leonard. Oh, he's fucking like that, man! You know Mr. Johnson's crazy! They went out. <laughs> Not so fast, CPD. What do you think you're doing? Uh, just leaving. Welcome to the dark side, nerd. How did you have it in you? Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the This ain't the kitchen! This is Dye's ball! Oh. Get him! <laughs> now, Miss Joy, black is beautiful, but we've got to get you out of all of this black attire. It can be chic sexy and sophisticated, but without balance, all black can appear sad and mournful. Do we have anything to mourn today, Miss Joy? Maybe this look? <laughs> uh -huh. So, what happens to the masterpiece? I never understood art from this perspective, and I'm starting to have a whole new appreciation for artists. I guess they really do take the time to know their work before they present it. The manufacturer clothed her in a deep golden bronze skin. Bronze connects with the earth, 
bronze is also a metallic brown color, which means that he clothed her in a color that is friendly, approachable, loyal, trustworthy, and dependable in a practical and realistic way. The color signifies stability and structure. Joy, let's try this ensemble on you. I think a rich color will go very well with your natural skin tone. Wow, you look amazing. And guess what? That masterpiece I was telling you about is here right now. Would you like to meet her? Um, sure. But can I see myself first? Sure. Sure you can. Follow me. Joy, allow me to introduce you to the masterpiece of our best manufacturer, Joy. Let me also introduce you to the manufacturer himself, God the master creator of all things and of all life. Joy, God knew you before he formed you. He knows your inward parts and outward parts. He knew you before he formed you in your mother's womb. Your mother loves you, Joy. It took a special woman to be a part of bringing you into this world. No one else could do it but her. But we'll address that later. God is always with you, Joy, and will forever be with you. Rather you are walking a well-lit path or a trail into darkness. His presence is always with you. Take a look at his creation, Joy. He made you exactly the way he wanted you. Wonderful. He made you full of happiness, triumph, elation, and bliss. That's what your mom saw in you at birth. She wrapped all of that up in one name. And that name was Joy. That's your name. And that's what your name means. Yes, Joy. You needed this makeover. You needed to see for yourself that you are special, that you were created beautiful, that you were given a natural presence that exudes stability, courage, and so much more. You needed to know that you didn't need to be someone else like captive just to be you. Oh, Alicia, thank you so much. <laughs> well, this is certainly not the end of your transformation. There is one more step in positioning yourself to be made over. 